Hi y'all and welcome to my channel. This is Shannon from Savvy Shannon and I want to thank y'all for coming and watching my video. Well today is not a Dollar Tree haul. I said not a Dollar Tree haul y'all. Dig. Today I am going to talk about Halloween and serial killers. If you don't like it, please stop the station. If you are under 16, I advise you not to listen because I am going to talk graphical and it's going to be pretty intense. But I just want to tell you that um, I love y'all, and um, I have a new member to my family, which I'm very happy. Her name is Nevaeh. She's a beautiful little baby. She was born October 1st, so I congratulate the parents, Brittany and Sean, and I'm really happy to have her in my family. She's gorgeous, but yeah, so say a shout out for her. But um, let me get to this. Okay, today we're going to talk about serial killers. Okay, this stuff, I have my... my uh, Oh, yes, I am sorry. I have my bachelor's degree in psychology and I kind of know about serial killers. I really am not all like for sure, but what I do know I will share with you. Um, also, some of it is factual and some of it is what I heard and some of it is what I studied. But please, if you are under 16, please have your children not watch this because it's very graphical. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about my giveaway. So let's do this. Okay. We're going to talk about the Green River Killer. Yes, he was sick. He was sick, guys. He was married and his wife was a prostitute, so she used to cheat on him. So he he left her, apparently, but he really did love her. So he decided to drive around and look for women that were runaways and prostitutes. So he would kill them by the Green River I really can't tell you where it's located because I really don't know him that much. But he would kill them by the... He'd rape them first, kill them by the Green River, and then rape them when they were dead. He would put stuff in them. He was a sick man. He killed over 46 women. So he's really a serial killer. He was sick. I can't stand him because of what he did. I mean, that's sick, isn't it? How do you rape people, kill them, and then rape them again? So he would bury them with their underwear on and his semen on it. It was disgusting. So he's considered a serial killer because of all the people that he killed. In order to be classified as a real serial killer, you have to kill five people or more. Yeah, so let's get into this one. My favorite one is Eddie Gein. Yes, Ed, well, his real name is Ed Gein. I call him Eddie Gein because it's like I really, I mean... I don't know, like, I feel bad for him because he was schizo schizophrenic. And back in that day, they didn't have medication. But he was a mama's boy. And um, his mom used to instill in him, like, to always love her and stuff. And never think about other women. Always think about her. You know, she would instill that in them. And um, and what do you call it? Guys, I just woke up, so don't mind the hair. But, um, yeah, so she would instill that in Eddie Gein to, like, always respect her and just her only so, he grew up not thinking about other women. So, um, it is rumored that he killed his brother because they found his brother dead in the forest when his brother was a little boy. But they don't know how the brother died. So, I have a feeling that Ed Gein did, did kill him, him so he could have his mother all to himself. So, yeah, so that's pretty messed up. So, anyway, he only killed about two people. He used to go to the graveyard and dig up people. He's, he was pretty sick. But, you know, I kind of feel bad for him because back in that day, they did not have medication, and the man really was sick. So, yeah, so, anyway, to make a long story short, he would go to the graveyard. He had an accomplice to take him to the graveyard. He did pay the man, and him and the man would dig up graves. And, yeah, this is crazy. So, they would dig up the graves. Oh, man, I can't think about it because it's disgusting. But anyway, they would dig up the graves and they would cut the skin. They would bring the they would bring the body to the house and they would cut the skin off their face, off their chest. And Eddie Gein would wear would wear it and dance around. He would make lampshades out of out of human skin. He was pretty sick. I mean, but like, like there's a word for that. He used to hear voices and all that, you know. And I kind of like. I watch all the movies about him because he, like, fascinates me, his story. But, yeah, you know, he really didn't know what he was doing, so he really was sick. I mean, I'm not going to, like, say that I, I you know, I, I feel bad for him, but he really had a mental illness. So, anyway, they, the cops went to his house. They opened up the garage door, and they saw a female, a dead female, like, like a cross, you know, in a cross, tied up, all her skin off for her. 
So they arrested Ed Gein, they put him in jail, and he died in jail of um, health, health problems. I think he had cancer, that's what he took, but they did not execute him. I think they did put him in a psychiatric ward in jail. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Um, my next serial killer I'm going to talk about is really a sicko. He's from Illinois. His name is John Wayne Gacy. I'm sure y'all know about the crazy clown. Yeah, John Wayne Gacy. This mother was crazy, dude. Okay, um, he used to, he used to frequent Chicago and pick up runaways and, um, and gay hookers. He was fighting with his gayness. He was married. He had two kids, but he was gay and he couldn't handle it. So he would bring boys to his house and he would, um, poison them, drug them. And he would have sex with them and kill them and put them in his, um, what is that called? It's under the house. He would put them under his house, body. I mean, he had over like 50 bodies under his house. And, um, I'm going to tell you a little story. My uncle was walking in Chicago. This is the truth. And Gacy picked him up. And, um, thank God my uncle got away. But yeah, he did meet Gacy, but I guess Gacy dropped him off. He didn't take him to his house. But yeah, I would have had a dead family member if my uncle would have went with him. But yeah, that's sad. And um, he, um, in Gacy's house, they, the neighbor would smell something. And she was like, what does that smell? What does that smell? And it ended up to be um, the dead body. So the neighbor called the police. And um, well, I just wanted to say, I didn't say this. Gacy was well respected in his community. I mean, the mayor loved him. Everybody loved him. So nobody thought that he would do something goofy. And, um, I got a time right here back. But, yeah, nobody thought that he would do anything goofy. But, um, so they, so the neighbors smelled the smell. And then they called the police. And the police went downstairs. And they noticed all the bodies. And they arrested Gacy. Gacy was smiling in his mugshot. I mean, how do you smile? How do you freaking smile when you kill all the young boys? I mean, he had no remorse for what he did. When he died, he had no remorse. I mean, he did not care about anything. Oh, God, my brush on. He did not care about anything. He had no remorse for what he did. On his, he got executed on his deathbed. He said, they said, what are your last words? And he said, kiss my ass. He either said, kiss my ass or F you. I don't remember, but yeah, I forgot. But yeah, it wasn't nice. But I'm going to link his, um... His profile picture and my thing, and you will see that he is smiling. How do you smile? That is sick. You kill all the people. How do you smile? All right, that's um. Oh, in fact, I forgot to tell you, Texas Chainsaw is um based off Ed Gein's story because um Leatherface and all that would wear human skin, and there were also other movie, other scary movies that were based off Ed Gein's story. So they took it on. They can't. They claim. Texas Chainsaw is a um a true a true um story, but you'll never know. Maybe that did happen in Texas, you know? Who knows? But yeah, so um that's that. And I'm gonna work on um one more couple more, two more I'm gonna talk about. The next one I'm gonna talk about, we're gonna go into this so whole thing with the uh, homosexuality. We're gonna talk about Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh yes, Jeff Dahmer. He was so freaking handsome, dudes. I mean, this man was like, he, to me, he was really, really cute. But yeah, he was sick. This mug, this mug was sick. He was sicker than Gacy. He would frequent, um, wait, where's he from? Oh my God. I, I think he's from, um, is it Detroit? I forgot where he's from. But he would frequent, um, clubs and stuff and get, um, young boys to come to his house. And he would tell them that he just wanted to drink. So he would drug the drink and, um... He would get them to be all drugged up. He would have sex with them. And then he would kill them and put their bodies next to him in the bed. And then he would actually cut up their bodies and put them in the fridge. And he would eat their bodies. And he would say the reason why he's eating their bodies because he always wants them inside of him. He was sick. He actually ate the bodies. He was a cannibal. Sick, 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 sick. Very sick. And um, one day this one kid got away and he was all, like, discombobulated because Jeff, Jeffrey Dahmer had drugged him. So he got away, and the police saw the little boy. The kid was about 16, and the police took the boy back to Jeffrey Dahmer's house, and then Jeffrey Dahmer killed him. Um, so he got caught, and um, in the court trial, he was the only one that really showed remorse out of all the serial killers. He apologized to the family, but that doesn't make who cares. I mean, come on now. 
it doesn't matter. It's not going to bring, you know, the, the dead people back. So two days later in jail, he was killed by the inmates. I've heard rumors about a broomstick, you know, stuck in his anus. And I've also heard rumors that they strangled him. We're not sure. It's just a rumor, but he did die and he deserved it. But let's go on to another serial killer. I can't really talk about him long. It's Eileen Warnos. Yes, the infamous serial, female serial killer of our time. She had a horrible life. She was molested by her grandfather. So she turned out the mom. She got pregnant at 14. The mom made her get an abortion. She ran away at 16 and became a prostitute. So she was a prostitute. It was normal. She was making her money. So she met a Vic. A Vic is a gem. That's a person who pays for sex. We called a Vic in Illinois, in Chicago. So yeah, she met a Vic. And he totally raped her. He threw bleach on her. He, he, like, he, he, he was, it was horrible for her. So it traumatized her. So she thought every Vic was going to hurt her and kill her. So she um, would kill them. She killed about seven people, seven men. But she killed one man who really was trying to help her, which she kind of had remorse for. He was a pastor, and he wanted to take her in. And she thought he was trying to pay for sex. So she told him to go in the forest, and she shot him straight in the head. Now, that's wrong. You know, but you, you understand rape and stuff could mess you up, but you shouldn't kill people. So she got, she um, was in a bar. This is how she got caught. And a cop called her. You know, he pretended like he was a Vic. She went in the back with him. She, he, she arrested her because her girlfriend told on her. And at the trial, she did cry. She ended up getting electrocuted. But yeah, she was an infamous female serial killer. And yeah, that's pretty messed up how life can make a turn on you. Some people can handle stuff. Some people cannot. But yeah, that's the end of my little talk. Um, I hope you enjoyed this content. I will be going shopping pretty soon. But remember, if you want to get in the, the giveaway, comment Monroe, M-O-N-R-E, or make a comment down below. Um, I hope you are going to have a nice Halloween in, in, in Chicago or where I live in Crest Hill. They are going to have Halloween for the children. So I got to go buy candy, guys. I don't know what to get. I got to go buy chocolate. So I'll probably get it at Walmart because it's cheaper. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't freak you out. I hope it educated you. Like I said, some stuff are real facts because I did study and I got an A on a paper that I made. And some stuff are stuff I read in movies. There's a movie called Dahmer, Gacy, Texas Chainsaw, Psycho. Look at one of them movies while I'm going to let y'all go. And I want to say Happy Halloween and I love y'all. Yes, I do love y'all. I love y'all for watching my video. All right, bye, bitches.